make.com tutorial for beginners hey guys welcome back in this video i'll be breaking down make.com and how you can get started with make.com so let's get into it now the first thing to note about make.com is what exactly is this for well make.com is a platform that enables you to automate and make a visual representation of all of your work if you take a look at their platform they have a platform which can help you in organizing your work as well as making sure that everything stays connected they have multiple different use cases where you can find different templates for different niches as well now let's get into how you can actually get started with make.com so the first thing you're going to do is head on over to make.com and click on get started for free on the top right now once you click on get started for free you're going to enter your name and your email address and then you are just going to insert a suitable password for your account like this now after that you're going to enter the country that you are located in and then you're going to choose the hosting region where your data is going to be stored via make.com. So you want to choose that to be the closest to your particular country. Now, after that, you're going to agree to the terms of service and click on sign up for free over here and verify that you are not a robot like so. Now, after that, you are just going to open up your mail to be able to verify your email address to get started with make.com just like this. Now, once you have completed these steps, you can just sign up or sign into your account now and your sign up process has been completed. Now, the next thing you're going to do is add your role. So what exactly do you do? Let's say we are a student and we are looking to have project management over here and we're just going to continue on over here and click on get started after answering a couple of questions. Now, once you click on get started, you're going to be led to your actual dashboard on make.com. Now, this is going to be your dashboard on make.com. You will see you have certain suggestions that they will give you. Now, you will see, first off, you have your organization that will be added as your default organization. Now, if you want to create your new scenario just to make it easier for you to set up your particular tasks or business, you can click on create new scenario. And then you can click on the add icon over here and you can get started with adding a particular scenario or particular integration. So let's say it's SMS and I want to send a particular SMS. So, you know, it might be for a cart, a abandoned cart. So I can start adding those automations over here as one as well. Now on your top, you will see your organization settings and you will see your my organization section. Then you have a team section where you can start inviting other people and you have some active scenarios where you can connect your tools that you're using for your team. So if you're using Airtable, Notion, Telegram, Google Sheets, or any other tool, then you have scenarios as well as templates, connections, webhooks, keys, devices, and more. Now we're going to click on templates over here to get started with a template. So you guys will see you have some public templates where you can create Google Calendar events from new Trello cards. You can create MailChimp subscribers from Google Sheets, automatically upload email attachments to your FTP servers. Then you also have some automations like Gmail. So automatically forward new Gmail emails containing specific words to another email address. You can record all calls received from an Android phone into Google Sheets. You can also create Trello cards from new Google Sheets. And you also have some other automations or, you know, other templates available that can help you in getting started. So let's build a basic template where I might want to create a Google Calendar from Trello cards. Now you're going to click on create new scenario from template and your scenario will be created. Now over here, you're going to click on Trello over here and click on create connection. Now it is going to start connecting your Trello board into your make.com board. So it's waiting for authorization and we are just going to name the connection. You can name the connection, whatever you want. And it's just waiting for authorization. So you can click on save over here once your authorization has been completed. So you're just going to go on ahead and add your particular board that you want. We have nine boards over here, two over here and zero on this. So I can click on allow over here. You can even select your own customized boards if you don't want it to access all of your boards let's say i want to watch all cards and you also can set the limit so the maximum number of results to be worked on during one execution cycle i'm going to set this to 80 and then i'm going to click on ok 
and I'm going to choose when I want to start this particular automation. So I want to start this from now on instantaneously. Then I want to get a card. So I want to enter a card manually or select a particular board. So let's say I want to select a particular board where they should be taking my automation from. And let's say I want this to be pets available. And I'm going to click on OK. Let's say this is going to be this one over here. And then you have your Google Calendar connection. So you can click on Create Connection and start linking your Google Calendar. Now, other than these particular automations, you can choose to run this once. And then you also have scheduling. So you can schedule it for every 15 minutes or at regular intervals once every day, days of the week, days of the month, or a specific date and time. Now, after that, you have some saving options. You also have some scenario settings. So if you want sequential processing, if the data is confidential, and if you want to allow the storing of incomplete executions, as well as enable data loss, auto commit. So this is going to switch the committed phase. I data is committed right away and cannot be restored in the case of an error. Then you have the commit trigger list and the maximum number of cycles. Then you also have some notes that you can add to further help you in organizing your automations. Then you also have some explain flow where you can add some explanations so you guys can have a visual representation of how your flow works. Then you have some blueprint options where you can import or export this blueprint. You also have your flow control where you can repeat a particular action. If you want this to be a array iterator, a router, rollback, break, resume, commit, or ignore. Then you have your particular tools that you're using as well as some other tools such as your sleep, increment function, basic triggers, and more. Now, this is just one template. How can you build these from scratch? Well, to build these from scratch, I will just click on create a new scenario. Once you click on create a new scenario, you're going to click on your plus icon over here and choose the application that you want. So let's say that I want to use ClickUp this time. Now I can just search for ClickUp over here. And this is the app we are looking for. And let's say whenever we watch tasks. So whenever a new task is created or uploaded. Okay. I'm going to click on create connection. I'm going to click on save over here. I'm going to link my ClickUp account to my make me account or make.com account. And it just takes a couple of seconds for your applications to be connected. So let's say I'm going to connect the shuffle bag workspace and I'm just going to proceed over here with our new connection. Now, once you have connected your workspace, you're going to click on OK over here. And you can add the particular items that you want to watch like this. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now once after this happens, what do I want? So you can click on add another module and you can add another module. So what should happen now? There are some other tools you can insert. You can click on tools over here. Let's say I want to. So let's say I'm first going to add another module and that's going to be I'm going to link this to Gmail and I want to create a draft and I want, you know, you can add whatever draft you might want, new task created or whatever you want. And then I can also create delays in that and further customize the rest of our scenario or automation. So in this way, you can get started with building on make.com. It's simple and easy. Plus, if you take a look at the pricing over here, they have a free plan available where you have a no code visual workflow builder, which has over a thousand integrations with that you're really not going to find anywhere else. Then you have their core plan starting at $9 per month where you have 10,000 operations that you can create per month. And it also includes unlimited active scenarios, one minimum one minute interval between scheduled scenario executions. Then you also have the pro version, which allows you to create over 10,000 operations per month, as well as custom variables and more. And then the team's version also includes things such as your sharing of variable templates, high priority scenario execution, and multiple teams and permissions. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.